Black Holes, Science Mission NASA Don't let the name fool you, a black hole is anything but empty space. In recent years, NASA instruments have painted a new picture of these strange objects that are, to many, the most fascinating objects in space. The idea of an object in space so massive and dense that light could not escape it has been around for centuries. Most famously, black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, which showed that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small, dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than about three times the mass of the sun, the equations showed, the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. Scientists can't directly observe black holes with telescopes that detect X-rays, light, or other forms of electromagnetic radiation. If a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, for example, it will draw matter inward in a process known as accretion. One star's end is a black hole's beginning. Most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. Smaller stars become dense neutron stars, which are not massive enough to trap light. If the total mass of the star is large enough, about three times the mass of the Sun, it can be proven theoretically that no force can keep the star from collapsing under the influence of gravity. However, as the star collapses, a strange thing occurs. Soon after its launch in December 2004, NASA's Swift Telescope observed the powerful, fleeting flashes of light known as gamma-ray bursts. Chandra and NASA's Hubble Space Telescope later collected data from the event's afterglow, and together the observations led astronomers to conclude that the powerful explosions can result when a black hole and a neutron star collide, producing another black hole. Although the basic formation process is understood, one perennial mystery in the science of black holes is that they appear to exist on two radically different size scales. Peppered throughout the universe, these stellar mass black holes are generally 10 to 24 times as massive as the Sun. Astronomers spot them when another star draws near enough for some of the matter surrounding it to be snared by the black hole's gravity, churning out X-rays in the process. Most stellar black holes, however, are very difficult to detect. Astronomers can detect them by watching for their effects on nearby stars and gas. Historically, astronomers have long believed that no mid-sized black holes exist. However, recent evidence from Chandra, XMM Newton and Hubble strengthens the case that mid-sized black holes do exist. April 7, 2022 Fermi hunts for gravitational waves from monster black holes.